I'm not at all, baby. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. So today we're going to show the new motor that we just picked up for Frostbite. This is going to be the new biggest huge mod upgrade that we're going to do to the truck here over the next summer. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we have, as you can see, an engine block. Uh, we bought this pretty much a complete motor um, it was already torn down and kind of ready to be built but we bought this entire BGE 392 block motor and this thing's in really good shape um, this is again this is a used engine that came out of a, a Ram 2500 that ended up having a, bear, a bearing failure um, so we're going over basically cleaning this thing up getting it ready to more or less fully forge it for frostbite so down the road we're going to have a fully built 392 obviously um, this is the bge block uh, we're going to have we're going to use the factory bge forged crankshaft um, we're going to use the bge heads um, we also have those um, those heads actually have better bigger valves than the 57 factory heads so that will be a gain for us as we still got the factory heads currently on the 57 um, so yeah, so today's video is going to be basically kind of just, uh, we're going to clean the uh, the head surface area block right here. Um, we're going to hone it, although, you know, this this engine looks really good. If you can kind of see in there, there's there's no scratch scratches, anything the fingernail can pick up. Um, all the cylinders look really, really good. Um, it's a really, really good, clean, solid block. And again... It's the BGE. <clears throat> so we're going to go over a couple of few things that I'm going to use today. Um, one is going to be this guy. We're going to use this to clean up this surface right here where your cylinder heads would go. Um, for those that don't know, this is basically what we're using. That's the pad little green steel abrasive um, this the green ones usually work good for steel um, or hard metals we also have the yellow one which is for more or less for aluminum really and some steel um, but for the iron block I like to do the green ones I think it works a little better so this is what we're going to use just to clean this surface up on both sides um, we'll probably go ahead and hit the time and cover area right here on the front of the motor while we're doing this after we get done with this um, we're going to run the hone down it we're not going to do a whole lot we're just going to kind of hit it a little bit in each cylinder um, just to kind of clean everything up and give it a, a little clean finish we're using the good old what i call the dingleberry hone as you can see in just a regular drill this is the hone it's a flex hone that's the part number that we're going to use right here if you're interested in trying to get one um, this size seems to work pretty much for all the hemis um, for the bore size at least but that is it 
they kind of give you some instructions on how to use it if you've never done this before so that's the home we're going to use other than that we're going to get started with cleaning up the surface area the oil squir squirters are still in the block so we're going to be removing those before we hone it because we don't want to damage those but this is just going to be basically a kind of cleanup video to get this thing ready um, to start getting some parts put in it um, after we get it cleaned up we're going to do a follow-up video on basically painting it we're going to paint this block and i'm going to show you how to paint this block for really cheap and have a quality job that lasts for a long time so stay tuned for that video that'll be the next one coming up but let's get to it let's get this thing cleaned up and get working all right now that we got the cylinder head area all nice and clean nice and smooth we're going to work on uh, getting the cylinders honed so that's going to be the next step so we're going to i'm going to rotate this block and we're going to pull out the oil squirters and lay them to the side so we can get ready for honing the cylinders so let's go and just in case you guys don't know i'm gonna kind of zoom in here so there you can see down there that little tube that's an oil squirter and they are in every cylinder so that is what we're going to remove so we're going to rotate the motor real quick and unbolt those all right so we rotated the block um and here is the oil squirters down there as you can see so that's what we're going to remove real quick so that we can hone the cylinders because we don't want to hit those damage them or break them or anything like that and while we're right here we might as well uh, get our green padded again and clean the bottom of this oil pan surface and uh, get that cleaned up and ready to rock and uh, we'll be good to start honing so here we go Mm-hmm. 
all right mopar fam so we got the cylinders honed as you've seen didn't take long at all look nice and clean like brand new looking good this this block looks really really good there is no no deep gouges no scratches in it it is a nice clean block especially after getting it honed up i'm happy with it looks good i'm stoked can't wait to get this motor in frostbite but we're gonna hold out until that old 57 maybe let's go or we finally just retire the old engine so we'll see all right so i'm gonna flip the motor back over we're gonna put the oil squirters back in and uh yeah i'm not certain if the girls are polite in the club every night somehow i woke up out in beverly fucked up smelling like that bourbon had a hand up alone all right mopar fam we are done with today's video um as you've seen we got the head surface cleaned up on the block we did the oil pan surface we honed the cylinders and everything looks amazing. These cylinders look literally like brand new. I am super stoked how they turned out um, and spent like 10 minutes maybe honing all of them. Um, they weren't bad. I mean, this motor was in really good shape to begin with, so didn't have to spend a whole lot of time doing the honing. Can't wait to put this motor in frostbite, hopefully pretty soon, um, but we got more to go. So stay tuned. Next video, we're going to get this block painted and uh, be a how-to video on how to paint the block, or any engine block for that matter, super cheap at home with supplies you can find at your local Home Depot, matter of fact, or hardware store. So stay tuned. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think the truck's going to run with the 392. And as always, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys on the next one.